Okay, uh, this one's going to be a little interesting. This is our third uh, special relativity problem. And we're basically going to accelerate an electron to a velocity of 0.99 c. Okay? Uh, an electron has a mass of 9.11 times 10 to the power of negative 31 kilograms. And what we want to know is how massive is that electron going to appear to us? How massive is it going to be as measured uh, from, you know, outside the from the outside the accelerator. So in this case, we're going to use the relativistic equation m is going to equal m naught divided by the square root of 1 minus v squared over c squared. And we know the rest mass. That's here. So 9.11, 10 to the negative 31 kilos. Kilos divided by the square root of 1 minus, now I'm going to use 0.99c here and square that and divide it by c squared here. c squared cancels c squared and of course in the denominator I end up with the square root of 1 minus 0.99 squared. Okay, and if I plug this through my calculator, I end up with 0.99, or actually let's just try that from the beginning, 1 enter 0.99 squared minus square root and that number we we shall now divide into 9.11 9.11 ee 31 negative uh divided by and our answer is going to be 6.46 times 10 to the power of negative 30 kilograms now I want I want us to just contemplate this. How much did it increase by? Obviously, uh, this can be rewritten as 64.6 times 10 to the negative 31 kilos, and so therefore, it went from if you forget about the after the decimal part and forget about the m times 10 to the negative 31, it went from 9 to 64. That that's a tremendous increase because it's traveling at ninety nine percent the speed of light. So these are pretty these problems are pretty simple. And this is M. Uh, as long as you understand the difference between M naught and M uh, for all three types of there's M and M naught and M. There's L naught and L, and there's T naught and T. These are measured in a different frame of reference uh, as compared to the observer, and these are measured in the same reference frame as the observer. So that's all there is to it. As long as you get that straight, you shouldn't have too much of a problem. So thanks for watching this last problem. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.